All right, hey Leo, so I'm doing a quick or fun, we're doing an energy read. Um, and this is for who's checking you guys out, who's spying on you, man, who's uh, drawn to you, who wants all of you and they want to keep you to themselves. We're going to see what is going on, who is checking you out. It could be more than one person. All right. You guys are going to know this is your read by your energy and your hopes and fears on love. So if that does not resonate, check your other placements. And if you guys are new, I really hope that you will stick around and subscribe because you like my vibe so much. All right, your energy. So we have the nine of wands kind of coming in. We got the ace of pentacles. You guys could be kind of having a little bit of, uh, it's like we're having more fear than faith over um, maybe a connection, maybe putting yourself out there. Um, but you don't want people playing with you. You're coming through as a wounded warrior. You've had enough of the games and the BS with people, right? Um, you want some unconditional love. You want somebody who, who, who's coming from the heart space, right? You got the ace of pentacles and the lovers. So to me, your energy is like, I can't just give myself to anyone anymore because I'm tired of the BS and the games, you know? So it's like, you're kind of treading lightly, lightly when it comes to, um, I feel like when it comes to love, you know, I, I just feel like you're kind of treading lightly because, and it's not even that you're pissed off or mad or anything. It's just like, I, can, I can't just, I, I, you know, I'm tired of meeting people and it just like, it falls through, it falls through, man. And I don't want to suffer like that no more. You know, I don't want any games. And it, you know what the unfortunate thing is, is like even dating, you got to kind of test the waters, right? You got to, you got to, um, you know, give it a go for a few weeks before you can decide if you want commitment. But uh, it's almost like, what I see is like you get to that point, you know, where people are, are connecting with you and you're making these connections and then boom, it falls through. And it's like a month, two months, three months. And it's like, uh, you know, um, what kind of funny business are you putting out here? Right. What are your hopes and fears, your hopes and fears, your hopes and fears, happiness. You want stability. You want harmony, peace, I feel like you're you're all about the new, 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 new. All right. You got judgment card coming through and I feel like it's really in reference to new. I feel like you guys are actually fearing anybody from the past. That's what you don't want. You do not want anybody from your past. And I feel like that would be a fear, but your hope is, Hey, uh, I've grown past that. I don't want anybody back. You know, they've never filled my cup anyway. And they've always kind of been deceitful. They never brought the truth and you want some honesty, some directness. You want boundaries and just clear-cut energy man you want your happiness and you deserve it leo you guys deserve it okay so let's see who's popping in your energy who is popping in your energy who is checking out aries who is drawn leo sorry who is drawn to leo i hope i only said that once i'll probably have to do a playback and apologize to you guys who is checking out leo all right, let's see. The energy around Leo. The, hmm. All right. Okay, so we got some new energy. Okay, there's no human energies or influences quite yet, but we have the Ace of Swords, which speaks of new. There's um, a new being drawn to you, Leo. We got Justice card. It's like this. You know what the universe is saying? We're going to deliver you a soulmate, okay? Okay. You, you're, you're purging, right? You're healing. You're releasing all that bad past, never got you anywhere energy, right? And I feel like what you're seeing right here is something new coming in. I'm going to pull some more cards to get a little bit more info, but you got Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Leo coming in. All right. So what I feel is there's definitely some energies hovering around you. And I feel like it's, it's the, it's, it's karmic rewards. It's a good balance coming to you. And you guys know the two of cups is a deep, deeper level. This is a soul level connection coming through and it is new. You got soulmate energy with temperance. Um, we don't know. Everybody comes in our lives if we are deeply connected to them, but let's just see if, can we get a little more info about this person? We got Taurus. All right, so here we go. Here's what I'm going to say. You got the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. I'm keeping that in reverse because I just feel like these cards are aligning to something. You got the Emperor card. 
Aries. Okay, you got Aries, Taurus, Sag, and then we have Scorpio and Libra coming through again. All right, so the main influences are going to be Scorpio, Libra. Um, with this one, it could be that you got a couple of younger people with their eye on you or people around your age. I don't know how old you are, but this is 35 and younger. Um, the Emperor card coming through is going to be, you know, older than 35. Um, but again, soul energy that's coming through. So we have somebody that's going to, I feel like this is a new dynamic. And I feel like they're going to give you um, energy that you probably have never received. Okay, this is somebody coming through with a creative influence. This is like, I'm, let me open the door for you or let me get your plate for you. You know, I don't know how you guys are in personal um, relationships, but I feel like this person is going to be somebody that you can actually let your walls down. Okay, you can let your guard down because this energy comes through as balanced. This energy comes through as passion. Okay, an attractive person also because the Knight of Cups is somebody who's very good looking. All right. Um, they come through with um, stability, um, possibly some wealth. You know, the emperor is somebody who is who likes comfort, who likes security, who is a builder. Um, they think of home. This is this is where it's at. It's home. So I really feel like this person that has their eye on you or or people. I'm gonna say I kind of feel like it's person, but we're not gonna negate this Knight of Cups. So you guys could have a couple. Um, but I really feel like they're just, they come through as a balance. Somebody, yes, you can let your guard down. Okay. Let's see what their hopes and fears are. Their hopes and fears. We got the tower card coming through. There's a lot of water energy coming through you guys. So you guys could have water energy. All right. Look at it. We have the tower card. So fear, you know, I don't want to invest in something that's not going to happen or not going to be worth it. And I feel like, you know, if this person and you have talked or connected, I'm, sh I'm certain they kind of know what you've been through and you know what they've been through. And it's like, we don't want to give that to each other. All right. They just want happiness. They want fulfillment. And I believe that card came through on yours, Leo. And here's the sun card. Um, they want the happily ever after. They want to be fulfilled. And I feel like, you know, that's what they want to give you. And you know what? That's what you want. You don't want no more craziness. You don't want no more lightning strikes and bolts and, and sudden upheaval and chaos and drama, right? Um, I really feel like this person just wants the real deal. You know, okay, no relationship is perfect, but we can make this one as perfect as we can be, as we can get it, right? So let's just see what um, some of their fantasies and desires are. This is an R-rated deck. Fantasies and desires and just keep in mind you guys you don't have to know this person. They're gonna be coming through You can bank on it because I'm pulling a 30-day intention at the end of this so We'll see this person's fantasies and desires I kind of feel like this is how we're gonna know if you guys have been communicating or not Wow I still I still can't tell if you guys know this person Okay, so this person's got some heavy, heavy energy uh, in a good way. All right, so I'm not going to actually say what's going on in these cards, but I will show pictures and do a, like a brief summary, okay? So here we got Strength card coming through, all right? <laughs> I don't have to tell you what she's holding on to, okay? Um, but it's like, yeah, let me hug you and never let you go, okay? We got this Four of Wands, which is a pretty naughty card itself. Um, the four of wands that's a deep soul level connection right there and that's just like let me get in there and see what's going on hold the flashlight we got the, as i say it you got the two of wands coming through there's some more soul level energy um it's like this person likes to watch you even if you guys have never had an exchange even if you have never sent them anything naughty because you guys haven't met yet what i'm going to say is this person definitely has had i, I feel like they've had um, fantasies, even if they're in the background right now. Here's the devil card. So this is telling me right here that this person has thought about you in very naughty ways, you guys. Even if you don't know who they are. All right. So let's see. We're going to get some intentions. I want to see what their intentions are. Because Leo, you don't deserve any more hurt. Their intentions. Look at that. The two of wands coming back through. This person really wants to carve a path with you. They want to work on things. They want to make they want to make something happen here. All right. Look at that. The magician card. They're just trying to manifest a future with you. Um, if you guys haven't met and this is not a confirmation, they're they're figuring it out. How can I approach Leo? How can I come towards Leo and tell Leo how I feel? You know, I feel like this person, there's a strong energetic pull. Um, 
I, I, just, I can't help but feel like you guys haven't met yet, you know, but it's, I, I, this person's manifesting it. They're creating it. You got the two of wands coming through and it's like, they're looking at you, you know, from afar, from a distance, they haven't made the move yet. It's like, I could see everything with you. All right. We have the full card showing up. So let's see what their next move is. The next move that they're going to make in the next 30 days for Leo. Wow. We got the lovers coming through. So here is here it is. Look at that. So your troublesome is over, you guys. Ten of Swords. It's about endings. All right. You have the Seven of Pentacles. So if you've had some long draining um, um, situations with people, man, that's all being changed. It's being healed. Look at the Knight of Cups is coming through right here. Offers. So you have a messenger coming through with that Knight of Cups. And I can't help but feel like there could be a date planning in the future. Somebody's taking you out. And I feel like your Nine of Wands energy that you came through initially is over with. That's what Spirit's saying. You got the Lover's card. So it's your turn, you guys. It's your turn for love. So what is your advice? What is your advice to kind of hold on to this and be in the moment? Yeah, it's coming. You guys, look at that. There you are. That's your energy. We got the Queen of Pentacles. She showed up twice already. Um, I, I seen her at the bottom of the deck, but look, you got more offers coming through. Okay, you got that Ace of Cups. It's coming, you guys. Um, pay attention. You got the Knight of Wands showing up. So somebody's just going to take action towards you. If you have had no action and you guys have had no, everything has just been silent and it's like, is, it, is anything going to shift for me? This is somebody taking action and I feel like that's you sitting right there. So be patient, man. Be patient because it's coming. Let's see what, let's see if we can get some initials. Leo. Initials for Leo. Let's get one more. All right, Leo. Initials. So this is going to be yours or the person that's coming towards you. W V. We have N E. We have F J. All right, Leo. I apologize for calling you guys Aries. I want you guys to take care. Have a good weekend.